So we made it to Ecuador. Yay! And obviously we decided to go by bus. Don't fly. If you don't have to. Right now we are on the border and well, we're gonna walk you through it. We're gonna show you how to get from Cali to here and even a little bit further. Yes. To Quito. Hola chicos! Hola chicos! So it's heartbreaking but after four and a half months we are leaving Colombia. Uh, we are in Cali and the, the bus station in Cali. And we are about to take a bus to Ipiales, which is very close to the border. And from there we're gonna go on. Yeah. We are taking the night bus, so we should spend these... It's supposed to be 12 hours, you'll see. Uh, sleeping, hopefully. That way we can save one day and make the long trip a bit more bearable. Yes, we are supposed to arrive to Quito tomorrow afternoon, so we'll see. Yes, that's the plan. So we made it to Ecuador Beach. Ipiales. <laughs> we made it to Ipiales. The important information is the terminal is open, you can use the bathroom, it's all... There is a terminal. Yes. Yes. That's always nice. When you get out of the bus, it's a madness. <laughs> Everybody wants to sell you something, wants to get you to the border, wants to get you to exchange money with them. Uh, we first went to the banyans, to the toilet, and security guy approached me and told me uh, to only use the official services, like the official yellow taxi or white collectivo, because there might be something sketchy happening. So now we're gonna find the white collectivo. <laughs> so we are leaving Colombia. We get a stamp. During the pandemia, you need to fill the check mic even for leaving. It's a form, you can download an app into your phone and fill it there. You get an email with the confirmation and that's it. But do it before, so because the internet connection here sucks, so it takes a while. Now we're gonna try to exchange our money, which is not hard because everybody wants to do it here. <laughs> and continue to the Ecuadorian migration migration office. So we exchange the money. They try to give us very very bad exchange rate. So before you do this, you sh you should know how much is it like in the official course, and how much you are willing to give them basically for the for, for the exchange. Yeah. So or we had about eighty five dollars and they try to exchange it for 41. Yeah. So uh, we so negotiated, negotiated to 75, which is, I guess, okay. -ish. The other thing is the Ecuadorian border opens at eight, apparently. So we are waiting, it's like 10 minutes to eight, so it shouldn't be too long. But it's pretty cold. It's like 2,500 meters and Leia's got shorts. We made it to Ecuador, Yay! officially. <laughs> so we are out of the immigration. The first checkpoint was for the health check, for the vaccination certificate. Here it was super easy, the lady was super nice, just gave us... 90 days. 90 days, it stamp in the passport, and that's it. Yeah, two minutes and you're in Ecuador. Yes. Now we're gonna try to find the bus to get us to Tulcan from where you can get to Guatemala or Quito and we're going to Quito. We found a collective bus, it was very easy. Just here. <laughs> so it's 75 cents and it's gonna take us to Tulcan. Just waiting for other people to join. <laughs> uh, when we got out of the collective, it was crazy again. Everybody wanted to sell us everything. And we were like strictly, no, we need time, so I mean, you don't have to buy everything from them at any point. Yeah, yeah. Just like take your time, think about it, and don't let let them make you buy something overcharged or. Uh, yeah. We had breakfast. We had coffee. Sit in one of the waiting rooms here, and then bought a ticket for one of the. I think I think it's the nicest bus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you can always ask them to show you the bus. 
if they are trying to sell you the, the ticket for? And the bus ticket uh, was 7.25 per person The collect was 75 cents before And well, we have now about 6 to 8 hours ride to Quito It's 10 in the morning, so we'll see you when we actually get there Quito. So we made it to our room. Yes. Yeah. In Quito, it took us 22 hours. Yeah, I think More so. More or less door to door. Uh, it was fun. It was tiring. We are super exhausted. But it was easy. Yeah, it wasn't no. difficult. No complication on, on the on the way, nothing. Everybody was helpful. We didn't have any like bad feeling in the bus. It took us three buses to get from uh, from the terminal to our place in La Foresta. Uh, there was a, it took a bit longer, especially because there was a very nice old guy who tried to help us and in the end confused us more. And one bus is like 35 cents. I would definitely do it again, rather than fly, Yeah. for sure. It's, yeah, if we just had a bad time sleeping in the bus this time. It's, yeah, it happens from time to time. So we are a bit more exhausted than we would like to, but other than that, the, the whole thing was pretty, pretty straightforward. Nothing too complicated, nothing too dangerous. Do it too. Yes. Now we're gonna go for dinner and beer because we deserve it. Beer! Hasta luego! Hasta luego!